If you're looking to buy some Madden 20 Ultimate Team coins and you want to support me, go to MMOEXP.com. Use my code CK for 5% off. Link in the description. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. Brand new series alert, man. We're going to be calling this one Survivor Ultimate Team Edition. I got to give a shout out to my boy Alex, aka Philly, for helping me come up with this one, man. This is uh, this is the start of something brand new. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen this done. I, I thought it was a unique idea. Is. so uh yeah let's see how this works out i'm gonna go over the rules real quick i also gotta give another shout out to fumble he helped me get like half of my coins so what we're doing today would not have been possible if not for him man thank you so much for that now as you can see we're currently at 90 overall that's not what we're gonna start out with because if i go online with his team i will get absolutely obliterated but before we even upgrade the team or anything let me go over the rules and how this is gonna work so here are the rules okay everyone on the team offense defense and special teams begins with two lives now if we win a game everyone on the team gets plus half of a life if we lose a game everyone gets minus half a life so it's kind of all for one one for all type of thing now on offense the only way you can add a life is by scoring a touchdown so if you know Wentz throws a touchdown to Odell they get plus one life but everyone else yeah they, they stay the same now the quarterback if he throws an interception gets minus one life if anyone fumbles they get minus one life and if there's a drop pass from a wide receiver or a tight end or even a running back that's minus half of a life can't have a ton of Nelson Aguilar's out there roaming around man I need people that's gonna hold on to the pigskin now on the defensive side of things if anyone on the defense scores a touchdown, that's plus one life to the entire defense. Now, if there's an interception, that's also plus another life for the person that got the interception. So say like big play Slay gets an interception, a pick six, that's plus two lives for him, plus one life for everyone else. Now, if there's a forced fumble or a fumble recovery, that's plus one life. So if JJ Watt strip sack fumbles the quarterback and he recovers it, that's two lives say he takes it to the crib that's another life for him so that's three lives off of just one play as you can see i'm rewarding greatness okay if you get a sack that's plus half life so it's probably three and a half actually if you get a strip sack fumble and you take it to the crib that might be the most points you can get actually a safety is two lives so if it just so happens to be uh, <laughs> all right we're adding too much stuff but just know that a safety is plus two lives a tackle for a loss is plus half a life uh, we're going to check the stats at the end of every game just to make sure, you know, we're, we're, we're keeping tally correctly. A touchdown given up is minus half a life for the entire defense. It doesn't matter whose fault it was. It could be a broken coverage. It, it could be a safety, you know, forgot to cover the deep blue. Everyone on the defense gets minus half a life. Now, as for the special teams, a block kick is plus two lives. Also, a kick return, punt return touchdown is plus two lives as well for the person that does it. Now, the only exception is if I'm the one usering the player that committed a fault, no lives will be taken. So say I'm using the deep blue, it's like cover two and I'm using one of the safeties and it's on my side of the field, I'm the one that gave up the touchdown, no one will be faulted for that. That will be on me. Now, your time on the team ends when you get to zero lives, man. Once you hit zero, it's a wrap, you're gone. We're gonna replace you. You. right now we got to replace a ton of these guys pretty much everyone I, I need to get to like a 95 we have 2.45 million i think we have plenty of coins to go ahead and make that happen six and a half hours later so here i am trying to upgrade kyler murray to 99 so i can get him that uh you know uh, escape artist but apparently i need the honors player i thought i could use the rookie premiere it's telling me search auctions bro i just used all this training for no reason i'm gonna have to spend 100k i'm already in too deep let's just go ahead and get this one right here before we continue to splurge on some other players Let's go ahead and open these packs. It's probably going to be absolutely doo-doo. Madden Bowl Twitch packs. Um, yeah, shout out to Joke. He ended up winning the entire Mad Tournament without passing the ball once. So that's that's pretty crazy. Probably going to be seeing a couple guys, you know, try to imitate that, which is not going to be fun. That's one reason why I've been avoiding playing Mutt, because I know how people play. They just play to win. They, they, they just run the ball. They do what all the pros do. And it, it probably won't be a fun time. But who knows? We can, we can end up having fun. We can end up finding people that just don't give a damn and, and actually pass the ball. That would be amazing. That's a cool animation. I've never seen that animation. That's the NFL playoffs one. You're like, CK, that was like five months ago, headass. I'm sorry. I, it's been so long. Oh, B-Doc. Weapon X, baby. Oh, we just got an ultimate legend. Okay. That's not a bad pull. I was never expecting anything higher than like what that B-Doc was. That 84, I thought it was going to be the highest card we ever pulled from these, but 
an 88 ultimate legend not a bad pull we got a zero chill Demonte Kazee why are there so many packs this is unbelievable it said two but now it, it, it ballooned up to like five six I'm not complaining oh my goodness wait a minute <laughs> Draft class Joe Burrow, 99 overall. I guess this will be our backup for now. In case Kyler decides to, you know, drop down to zero lives, we always have Joe Burrow as the next man up. So, uh, yeah, there's a pretty good backup QB breathing down Kyler's neck. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Now, it's unfortunate I wasn't able to get him to a 99, so I could not get Escape Artist, couldn't get Jukebox. But I still really like this card, man. I put Brick Wall on him. Even though he's a short, small stature, I hope that could do something. I know Big Ben with Brick Wall is insane i didn't really worry about a running back number two because barry's gonna be getting pretty much every single carry 95 speed 99 agility 98 elusiveness 99 break tackle and 98 acceleration i had a splurge on a running back i needed someone that could carry the ball every single down someone that could catch the ball out of the backfield and i think this is the guy his x factor is protective custody he can't fumble as a result of a tackle do you know how huge that is i'm gonna be juking spinning all over the place i needed that badly so now I, there won't be any fumbles or at least as many fumbles i'm sure it's not 100 percent he also has jukebox and evasive so yeah we're, we're looking pretty good and i need to get someone at the yrc position that i could just throw the ball up to and pray and he'll have like a 50 50 chance or maybe even better of coming down with the ball and that's where kenny galladay with this Moss Superstar X Factor comes into play. He wins 55 plus yard aggressive catches. Besides that though, he also has 98 catching and spec catch, 97 catch in traffic, and 95 short route running. Don't worry about the speed. The speed is, uh, well, you know, we have Ridley for that. 96 speed. 97 deep route running not to mention darren waller our starting tight end how is this man going under 100k i don't get it i don't know 92 speed 97 spec catch 95 catch of traffic and catching absolutely ridiculous d jacks this is pretty much you know one of my favorite players that's why i got him this card is nothing special but he's going to be on a turn man i gave him that return man uh, ability i wish his speed was a little bit higher but you know it is what it is we also have robbie anderson this was a free card i had you know a while ago 94 speed pretty decent he can get mixed in tory holt another guy on the team and then marquise hollywood brown if calvin ridley's not getting the job done he will be replaced so he better be careful fullback we're rocking with dallas goddard i'm gonna ride him down even though he's not a fullback uh yeah he's gonna be here because he's really good at run blocking but our backup tight end is actually gonna be evan ingram so we're gonna be running the 3-4 on defense which is why i still have shazier here he's a 91 overall hopefully we can upgrade him more throughout the season simba 97 overall i put so much on this man he's gonna be the guy i use it the most he's gonna be the guy I, i'm roaming around the field with 99 tackling 91 hit power and zone also 93 play wreck and acceleration so he's there not have bad in comparison but yeah simba's a, he's a whole nother level i actually don't have simba's x factor activated because i'm gonna be using him for the most part so i decided to put zone hawk on byron jones and earl thomas the third quick refresher on zone hawk there's more catch knockouts and interceptions in zone coverage man here are the abilities i put on simba tip drill zoned out unfakeable let's just go one by one while we're here these are the abilities i put on chase young our starting left end finesse specialist edge threat reach elite adore jackson has zoned out big play slay with the fire oh. card art has tip drill acrobat man dog aka fletcher cox has reach elite nick bosa has finesse specialist jamal adams the best safety in the nfl in my opinion unfakeable free safety earl thomas the third with zone hog x factor activated he has zoned out he has tip drill you can kind of see that uh yeah i'm kind of fed up when, when my players you know don't catch the ball off the tips I don't want to see that at all this season. Matter of fact, if we start dropping a lot of interceptions, I'm gonna add that to the rules and make it minus half life because I do not want that happening. Harold Landry, our starting right outside linebacker. I, I decided not to use all my coins. I wanted to save a little bit, you know, for later in the season when I need to upgrade players because I noticed some players that are gonna let me down. I just, I'm not sure who and I'm not sure how expensive. Byron Jones, my number one cornerback, I went all out. This card is disgusting. 99s all over the place he has the same amount of 99s on the back of the card then he does stats that are not 99s obviously he has zone hawk he has balance d eagles chem somehow i guess when you're that high of an overall you can get any chem 
which is pretty dope. Adoree Jackson, you can see his stats in comparison. Only thing he has on him is speed. Big play slay, same thing. Only thing is speed. Our number four, Shaquille Griffin. He's also going to be written down. We're doing first four wide receivers, first four cornerbacks. And then if you want to look at Earl Thomas stats real quick, why I decided to go with him is because of that play wreck in that zone. I'm someone that runs a poop ton of zone. So yeah, that was very important for me. Uh, same thing with Jamal. He has really good zone, but that hip power, that play wreck, that pursuit, everything is just insane this is what my special teams is looking like we have jan stenerud at kicker man i really like that card art that's dope that they let you change the card art we have clutch kicker on him you know immunity to ice the kicker effect so pretty much you can't ice me like it's always going to be the same kick meter every single time and i love that here are my specialists uh we have barry at <laughs> both have back positions kenny g in a slot i don't mind that d-line disgusting we have jamal adams as our sub linebacker nah I, I want him staying at safety i want to put uh jordan hex here john madden head coach once again if you have any recommendations for me to help kyler get to 99 let me know do i have to rearrange the whole team if so then you know we'll, we'll hold off on that but i want that man to have escape artists i know how disgusting that is and you know jukebox evasive whatever so there it is episode one of survivor mutt edition man let me know how you guys are feeling about this series are you excited if you are destroy the like button man if i see a nasty amount of likes i'll come back with the series tomorrow if not it'll be within the next couple of days man thank you so much for watching uh subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you on the next one